Hey guys, what's up, my name is Gas, and I'm back again with yet another video. And uh, I, I just want to apologize for not putting for a very long time. And I'm not gonna go through the problem. I'm just gonna I'm, I'm not gonna tell you guys what happened and shit like that. Obviously, you guys don't give a shit about that. So let's get into the video. Uh, also, ignore my shitty English because my English is really bad. So if you guys don't understand something, just go ahead and leave me a comment down below. I'll help you guys. And also, you guys can reach me out on my Twitter, Instagram. Link in the description down below add me if you guys want any help if you guys need to ask me anything i'm always there so go ahead dm me so the first thing first you guys need to hold your te click on your te text and you need to press ctrl t and after that you guys want to go ahead and click on wrap now there are multiple ways you guys can pull this off but the way i'm gonna do it is i'm gonna go ahead and click on arc and this is what it's gonna do now now you guys can just do this looks weird do this it's your choice you can play around with this i'm just gonna set it just a little like that so you can tell yeah there's a curve but the curve isn't that annoying and you know that looks really good it already looks better doesn't it okay so this is what you guys want to do create a new layer and then you need to go ahead clip it under if you guys don't know how to do that just hold left alt and uh, you guys will see this icon but if you guys don't understand that just right click and then you guys can go ahead and click on create a clipping mask and it should do that now what this will do I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> Anyways, go ahead and click on the brush tool from there. Set your brush size around 700. Set the hardness to zero. And you guys need to increase the brush size. I'm gonna do it around 1200. And you guys just need to go ahead and make it like that. And I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, change it to overlay. Now it will just give that dark effect, which looks really good. Uh, lower the opacity. So there you go. That is, is just gonna give it that effect, which I think looks really good. And yeah. Now I'm gonna go ahead create a new layer. I'm gonna do the same clipping mask. I'm gonna go ahead create a purple. And this time I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a light source of a bright purple color. Uh, make sure it's clipped to the mask. Make sure you guys have the brush selected. Just make two brush strokes with uh, two light brush strokes on the corners. Go ahead and set that to overlay and it's, it's just going to look like that. I'm just going to add a little stroke right there. So as you guys can see, it is looking amazing already. So let me just play around with that. I think that looks really good. So the next thing you guys want to do is zoom in and you guys need to go ahead and select the selection tool. Make sure you guys, are uh, you guys have selected and you guys are working on the new layer. And you guys just want to make a box like that to make sure the color is set to white and fill that in with the fill bucket tool now obviously you guys can play this wherever you guys want they will look good so i'm just gonna go ahead flip this around i'm gonna make that smaller and i'm just gonna put one right there and i'm also just gonna i'm also just gonna lower the opacity so something like that and i'm just gonna press ctrl j on while the layer is selected so i have made the duplicate of the layer and i'm just gonna go ahead and put one right here this is something optional but i i just think it looks really good and you know it just adds that shine i'm just gonna press ctrl j one more time and i'm just gonna go ahead and put it right there and uh, i'm just gonna make sure this is straight so I, that looks good okay so the next thing is when you do is go ahead and click the link in the description down below download this image this is apparently like this really cool light and I'm just gonna go ahead and place that light here. I'm gonna increase the size. Make sure you guys have selected it on the clipping mask so it won't go outside the text. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it right there. Now press Ctrl U while uh, your layer is selected. This menu should open. And once you guys are done with that, click on colorize. This menu should open. Click on colorize and increase the saturation and play around with the colors. I think that looks good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on OK. Now I'm just gonna press on Ctrl T, right click wrap. Now I'm just going to press Ctrl T, I'm going to click wrap and I'm just going to go wrap it around so it doesn't look like oh yeah. And now if you guys go ahead wrap, as you guys can see, it kind of matches in. Now all you guys want to do is lower the opacity just a little bit. Then you guys need to go ahead and pick up the razor, make sure your brush is 300 uh, and uh, make sure your hardness is zero and just make a little hardness so it looks like oh yeah, it's, it's blended in. So already. It looks amazing. Now, you guys want to go ahead and click, click uh, create a new layer. Make sure it's set to clipping mask. Make sure your brush color is white. Go ahead, pick up the brush, zoom out, and you're just going to go ahead and make a little 
brush just like that with the color white and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and increase that maybe I'm just gonna go ahead and lower the opacity to something like that and I think it already looks way 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 better if I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna show you guys a comparison of what it looks like before and after this is after this is before after before after before after before like i said it looks 10 times better obviously if you guys feel like you guys have done things a little too much lower the opacity but i'm just gonna set it to 592 and there you guys go that is how you guys do it it's easy as that and i really hope you guys do enjoy this video if you guys did then be sure to leave a like and subscribe as always my name is the house and i'm signing out